I'm going to show you in this video how to use ISO Moon um, as a, like a font. And you can see that I've done this before in previous uh, tutorials if you are a subscriber to me. But I used uh, maybe like Font Awesome, which is relatively easy to use in Photoshop. You can see this is actually a font. You can see it's a text layer using ISO Moon. Now, um, ISO Moon, if you've watched my previous tutorials, um, really is a nice thing, and I'm definitely a big fan of it. Uh, but you can see that the way they have their files, you can't really copy it. And the reason why is these are um, actually like uh, backgrounds. So I'm going to show you how to copy that, how to download the font, and go from there. So the first thing to do is um, to create your font, go from there, and then you're going to have to download the font. We're going to go over here and we're going to download it. It downloads a, a folder. We're just going to open it really quickly. And you can see that there's a bunch of fonts. Now these fonts are made for the web, but they do work with an, an app. And I actually have it in the background right here. And I'll show you how I installed it. Um, on a Mac, the, the best thing to use is the TTF. All you do is double click on it and it'll open like this. All you do is hit install font. Go ahead and Install checked, and you can see that it actually installs it right in here, where it says ISO Moon. This is very similar to how it does it on like Font Awesome, or really any font by that matter. Now, how do you get this into Photoshop? Now, clearly I didn't just type in a letter because it would actually just show up as a letter. So what I'm what I actually do is um, now I'm going to copy this and you know, a little control, control J and let's see what font we can use. So um, let's see, I'm going to do maybe uh, a get icon. So all I do is highlight this, do a command C, go back over to Photoshop. I'm going to go to that text layer over here, highlight it, and now a control V. You can see it copied in there. I'm going to have to hide this other layer to see it. You can see now I have this vector. If I want to make it bigger or smaller, I can simply use this. Or I can do what my favorite is, is a command T and transform it. Um, anyway, that concludes the tutorial on how to use ISO Moon in Photoshop. Um, and if you liked it, uh, feel free to subscribe to my videos, uh, give it a thumbs up. The more subscribers and the more attention different videos get, um, I do make more of them. Um, so to help encourage me, I, I do appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.